when we develop a vaccine, we go through four important stages. Firstly, preclinical development. Things like computer modeling, laboratory experiments, working with animals. Then we go into clinical development with humans. Beginning with small numbers, we look at the safety and then the effectiveness of a product. Regulatory review is required when it's time to use it for the wider population and there you need licensing to show that the vaccine uh, can be safely and effectively used. But even after that there's a fourth stage called post-marketing surveillance which involves the wider population receiving the product and being surveyed, being monitored for safety yet again and also for effectiveness and also uh, for other issues which have arisen. The HPV vaccine against cervical cancer and other cancers in men and women went through the four stages of vaccine development in Australia and overseas. It was discovered and developed first preclinically in Australia. Clinical development was done in humans in Australia and overseas in the United States. Regulatory review was done. It was licensed uh, in Australia and later in other countries. And then it was first introduced in Australia so we got the first post-marketing surveillance in a large number of young women showing how safe it was and how very effective it was too in preventing HPV infection.